Hi, it's the Constant Angler. Uh, just done a decent hike to this mark. A uh, bit out of breath, but we'll get this done. Uh, I've noticed the light. Um, how do I say this? That, that, that's, I, was, I don't want to stand here and pick apart other people's rigs. Uh, when I started this channel, I wanted to show people what I did and why I did it. So other than stand here and pick apart people's rigs that I've seen people using of late for ras fishing, I thought I'd show you why I use what I use for certain reasons other than catching the fish. So what I'm talking about here is fish safety. So if you start off, I've got a, got a standard Texas rig here and I'll flip between cameras. You'll see me use all the time. So I've got a size 1.0 weedless EWG hook that I've crushed the barb on or I've debarbed. Then I have a bead of some description. I've tied the hook on with a grinner knot, five turn grinner knot. And then I have either a egg sinker, a Texas comb weight or a swivel bomb sliding on that leather that I have here. This is 15 pound Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon, trialine, Berkeley trialine. Great stuff, very strong, nice thickness, takes any knocks on the rocks very well. Now, I've got 20 pound casking superpower braid here. It's tough, it's rugged, it's strong. It's not some silken thread that uh, you can get for a lot of money. Uh, we do lose gear, so it's good to have these things. But from a safety point of view, I have 20 pound braid, and I have a weaker 15 pound or 12 pound fluorocarbon leather. If I was to up this fluorocarbon leather, I would up the strength of my braid. So if I went to 20, I'd go to at least 25 or 30 pound braid. The reason for that is that is gonna snap before that. Now I also, which a few of you will have noticed, use an FG knot. And the reason I use an FG knot and these style of weights, the cone weights and your sinkers, is that weight, as you've just seen there, slides over that knot unhindered. Now I'll film that again with this camera, but you won't necessarily see that. So the reason I use an FG knot, and you can see it's even a little frayed up there of a tag end, doesn't matter. That way every time slides over that knot. Now that's extremely important. What I've seen of late is people suggesting that you put a swivel on the end of here, a large swivel, and put on a clip. And by doing that, you've got something larger than the hole in your weight and your weight cannot free itself. Now, a few of you will say, that's okay because you've got lighter line here. So this will snap first. Yeah, 90% of the time it's going to. Occasionally, the braid takes a nick and that breaks, so it breaks above the leather knot. And if all of this can pass over your leather knot, you are never going to leave a fish that you've hooked, tethered, or even a rig in the sea with a lure on. Um, I've heard tale that people think that fish don't pick up inanimate lures. They do. How many times have you caught a fish on a lure when you stop to chat to your mate, you've stopped your retrieve and it's just sat there. Because these lures move in the current and they look so realistic anyway, fish will pick them, pick them up and hook themselves and then you've got a tethered rig. Uh, some people might say that's a bit, bit of fantasy. It's very slim chance that could happen, but it could happen. So by having a barbless hook or a crushed barb, if you haven't got barbless, which I always crush the barbs because I can't find barbless at EWGs, a weight that will slide over your knot, it's not hindered by any large clips or anything. It's as safe as you can get. And I can guarantee you, if you learn to tie the FG knot, like I have shown on a video a while back, I'll try and fill a better one, more clearer. It's not a hard knot to tie once you've learned it and you can tie it on the rocks. It just takes a little bit of time, that's all. But the more you practice, the better you get. 99.9% .9 of the time, 
if I snag on the bottom or whatever, it snaps at this hook. That is your weak point. That is weaker than 15 pounds. Now you have tied that on there. Now, some people will say, yeah, but you don't want that. You lose a fish. You don't. Not when you're using this 15 pound fluorocarbon, you're using balanced tackle with a drag, tackle strong enough to get the fish that you're fishing for out, which is another important thing. If you do these things I've mentioned, you've got a good shot at it and you'll also do it as safely as you possibly can. So I'm not gonna rant on about what other people are doing. I'm just told you what I do, how I do it, why I did it. I created a weak link there. I have a very strong knot. I have lighter leather, the braid. I don't have anything above this weight, whatever weight I'm using, that will impede the weight coming off of the line should it get snagged should i lose it anyway should a fish be hooked on it they're not going to get this weight trapped in a rock and have it themselves tethered on a rig um so yeah hope that helps this is what i do this is how i do it i don't put big swivels and big clips above my weight ever cheers let's go do some fishing Thank you.